In this video, I'm gonna talk about the dark side of being handsome and how it's not all sunshine and rainbows like a lot of people would have you think. In fact, handsome guys suffer from a lot of dating problems and a lot of issues with women, and some of those problems are even caused by them being handsome. So if you're a handsome guy watching this, I'm gonna give you five issues that they generally suffer from and what you can do to solve them. But even if you're not a good looking guy, which by the way, if you're not a good looking guy, there's tons of things to make yourself better looking. But if you're not, you're gonna get a lot out of this video because you're gonna learn about the psychology of women and the dynamics there. So number one is going to be, not all women are gonna chase you down just because you're a handsome guy. In fact, there are gonna be a lot of women who don't, and the women who do chase you down, I find a lot of times they're not gonna be the women you're attracted to. You see, good-looking guys, they typically have a higher standard for the women that they're willing to date, the women that they're attracted to. They're good-looking, so they want someone who's good-looking as well, too. There's less of those women, and those women typically aren't gonna be running up to approach you. They aren't gonna be the ones who are gonna be breaking down your door, right? You're gonna have to approach them. You're gonna have to do other things to try and get their attention and pursue them. As well too, just because you're a good looking guy doesn't mean women are gonna be only looking for that. They're looking for other things as well too. I find that a lot of good looking guys, they can get a lot of initial attention or maybe they do make the approach and at first the woman is very interested. But if you don't have game, if you're not someone who can hold a conversation or you don't have confidence or you don't have the other things that she's looking for in possibly a partner or a relationship, then you will lose that person very, very quickly because those things matter a lot to women. So for a handsome guy, just because you look good doesn't mean you're gonna be able to get the woman that you want. Thing two, good looking guys tend to get a lot of negative assumptions about them. So a lot of women have gone through life liking good looking guys, and a lot of times they've been able to hook up with them. For guys, it's very difficult for us to be able to get with like a really good looking woman. Um, but for women, they can get with a good looking guy, but they only get with him for a short period of time. Right, so they will only be able to get them for like a night or two, or you know, maybe they just get treated badly. And during this process, it doesn't make them feel very good about those particular men. In fact, they probably hold a very negative opinion towards guys like that. And just because you look like that, you represent those kinds of men. And so they imprint all of their negative thoughts onto you. You may not have done anything, you may not deserve it, but they've had those bad experiences and they're going to judge you for it, right? So um, I've noticed that both women and men, if they are in like the top 5% or top 1% in terms of like physical attractiveness, they usually have a lot of haters. They usually have people who like talk smack about them behind their back. You know, for guys, it's usually like they call them a douchebag or whatever. For women, sometimes they call them a slut or they call them you know, dumb or other things like that. And a lot of times for guys, when they get names like that, it can kind of get to you after a while. Like you feel like you're a good person, but people are calling you all these things and some of it's unreasonable. So if you're a good looking guy, just know that these people don't know you. They don't know who you are. And if you're a good person, you will be fine. But what I find with handsome guys is they tend to have to be just a little bit nicer than the average person when people meet them. Because if people come in with those assumptions, they're looking for an excuse to call you that, right? So what you want to do is make sure you don't give them a reason. You're just a nice and awesome person. And I find it can work out extremely well for you, okay? So don't worry about the negative assumptions. That's coming from jealousy. That's coming from their own insecurities, which is something that I'm going to get into in just a bit. Number three, it triggers people's insecurities. So this happens a lot of times in relationships. This can happen with women. I find that there are a lot of women who will even say things like, oh, I could never date a good looking guy, or he's too good looking, or they might even lie and say that they're not attracted to a person. So they'll, they'll be even like mean to you intentionally um, because their own insecurities are coming out. You see, women don't want a guy who's gonna take attention away from them. They don't want someone who's gonna be you know, looked at more than them. They especially don't want a guy who can get other women who are better looking than them. And if they're conscious of this, they will get this insecurity that comes over them and they're gonna always be worried about you. They're gonna always wonder where you are. They're gonna be acting really anxious all the time around you. It can be very difficult to form a relationship with somebody, especially if that person is someone who you know is like below your level in attractiveness. So this might sound a little crass and it might sound a little mean, but I've just seen this happen a lot of times with people after coaching for a while and I've even seen it happen in my life. So what you need to realize is that you, people are, are gonna be dealing with this and you will be dealing with a little bit more of reassurance with people 
when they're in that position with you. So as long as you're conscious of that, you can get over it. Uh, but I find that there are just a lot of women out there that just aren't confident enough uh, to be like that with somebody. Number four, dealing with jealousy and negative assumptions from men. So like I said, women have negative assumptions of good looking guys. There are also men that have negative assumptions about them too. Sometimes they'll be on their guard. Maybe they won't want you around their girlfriend if their girlfriend thinks that you're attractive. Um, you know, I find a lot of guys will tease you or make fun of you, uh, calling you names like, oh, pre hey, pretty boy or douchebag or stuff like that. And look, dude, those might not be the things that you really want to worry about, but the things that you do want to worry about are if men experience a tremendous amount of jealousy about you. You know, I've hung out with guys who, and this isn't just, you know, from being good looking. I think this is just like, you know, I had a lot of women that liked me in this particular party. And I found a guy who I thought was a friend talking an extreme amount of negative things about me at this particular party. And he was just saying all of this stuff. And then I heard about it later. And of course he denied it. But this is something that I've noticed happened with a lot of my really good looking clients is they will get guys that will just unnecessarily like, start shit about them. And a lot of it's due to jealousy. A lot of it's due to insecurity. Same thing with the women that we covered earlier. It just comes out in friendship dynamics and it comes out in a lot of really insidious ways. You know, if a guy feels like he's lacking in a certain area against another guy, then he's gonna do what he can to denigrate that guy, to bring him down to his level, to make it more of an even playing field. Number five is good looking guys have an ego. And this doesn't always help them. So if you're a guy and you have a certain look about yourself and you're used to getting compliments, maybe you're used to having people come up to you, you might not take the right kinds of actions that are gonna make you successful. Take, for example, let's take the flip side. Let's take you know, a really pretty woman, right? Maybe she's grown up gorgeous and she grows up like that and she's used to going through life you know, all through her 20s, all through her teens, even younger, people are just giving stuff to her, they're doing her favors, she hasn't done a lot of stuff in life because it's all been handed to her, and then she reaches an age where she's starting to lose her beauty. What do you think is gonna happen at that point for her? She's probably gonna feel a little desperate and feel inadequate and get mad when she has to do things that other normal people have had to do for years, right? Same thing with guys who are really good looking. You know, if they've received compliments from women that they're good looking, if they've had women coming up and approaching them, you know, if dating or sex has been easy for them for a long time, when they start really going for the women that they want, they have to go out and approach, they have to work on themselves, they have to build up a social circle or learn to market themselves better and have game. And that requires work, it requires time, and there is a skill to it. And sometimes they just don't wanna learn that stuff. You know, a lot of the guys who I used to hang out with that were like, you know, six foot four, super good, looking I found that they were super boring with women like they didn't know what to say they didn't know what to do and when I tried to explain to them that they needed to do some of the things that I was doing and if they wanted the women that they really wanted they just had no interest in doing it because they had for so long coasted on their genetic looks so as a guy if you are in this position and you really want to level up you have to lose a little bit of your ego there will be times where you get rejected and that's okay Good looking guys get rejected too. It doesn't make them any less of a person, right? Getting rejection actually can build confidence for you. Putting yourself out there and failing actually breeds success. But if you never fail, you can never succeed. And sometimes when you get a guy who's born a certain way, they've had success thrown at them without them having to do anything. And so they don't learn the typical process that you need to do to become successful. But have no fear, if you are in this position, if you've suffered from any of these things previously that we've talked about, you can get better with them. You can learn how to handle them. And I find that if a guy knows how to take care of his appearance and masters all the skills that I talk about on this channel, dude, he is unstoppable. And it's possible for you to be like that as well too if you're watching this. So um, if you've made it to the end and you felt like you connected with some of the things that we talked about, I have a whole entire program where I help guys in this. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna click down the form down below, fill it out, and if you seem like a good fit, we'll talk. Look, looks aren't everything, but I feel like if you are handsome, you do have a leg up. And if you watch this whole video and you're like, well, this is great for all those handsome guys, but I'm not a handsome guy. Dude, I guarantee you, you can become a more handsome guy. It just takes taking a little bit of effort, putting effort into the right kinds of things, and adjusting your habits throughout the day, and I guarantee you, you will be able to be a good looking guy. In my opinion, there's no ugly men, there's just men who don't try.